Marco and Cheats present the Unbelievable Millionaires of Radio. Nothing like spending your Tuesday morning in Arkansas with Murphy, Sam, and Jody. This is a million-dollar radio show. We play you their segments every Tuesday morning and try to figure out. We, we scratch our heads and we scratch our ass. And right. we go, how do these people make millions of dollars on the radio? These are the segments they're doing. But who the hell are we to judge? Like, you know when uh, you, you, you impulse buy, like, a new TV? Yes. This show impulse bought Arkansas. They were just like, let's just buy the state. <laughs> we've got a new we've got a new experiment we're gonna do. We do. We do. So Sam's my dude. Sam is is everybody's dude on the show. Right, because he's People a like recovering it. alcoholic. We found out last week. Now he kept teasing throughout the weeks that uh he quit drinking on New Year's Eve, which I thought was the dumbest day ever to drink. Like, like you gotta go one more day, right? It's like quitting gambling the day of the Super Bowl. But, but really then we found stupid. out Sam had gotten so out of hand that he was scared of New Year's Eve because he could not resist sending inappropriate pictures of his junk to unsuspecting <laughs> women. And they started to not so, have really appreciate. So the guy is he's a mess, right? He's a mess. But what the the other two guys on the show, the girl and the guy do, is they kind of like, he's their guinea pig. You know what I mean? Right. They, they kind of tempt him. They use his stories. Sam's my dude. We, he's the star of the we show. We like the guy. So we're going to give him his own show here and a little experiment. But first, uh, let's get back to a couple of their segments. Uh, Ransom, they have a bit where... What is it? Their listeners leave voicemails? Yeah, it's kind of like a listener mailbox kind of deal where uh, oh. they, they play a clip. And I'll, I'll tell you what. They're I'll, getting the listeners uh, involved, right? This well, is listen, this, interactive. This is, what, this is what drives me nuts about shows like this or any show that does this with the with the inbox voicemail Jeets, stuff. Jeets, when you go to all these conventions, they say you got to be interactive. You have to reach right. out. And no, you have to touch your audience, Jeets. Here's the thing. Why don't you do what we do and actually talk to our listeners? That's what drives me nuts. We ask people to call and we actually talk to them. We don't say, hey, leave a message on a voicemail and then we'll uh, play it on the radio. You know what, Jeets? I got to tell you, you're so real when you're angry. You're real. All the listeners can feel your emotions. <laughs> you're right. so, I'd you're rather so talk to real. the goddamn listeners. You're so real. All right, here's the bit. I see what came in over the weekend, 877-310-4MSJ. Oh, I'm calling that mofo. <laughs> <laughs> Speed dial. Sh- should I bleep that? No. Um, okay, good. Here's what I'm going to do promotion. for the people listening. I'm going to replay that. I'm not telling you to write the number down and call. <laughs> I'm just giving you a heads up. I see what came in over the weekend, 877-310-4MSJ. Good morning, Murphy, Sam, and Jody. Hi, my name is John. Oh, my God. This guy's wild. He's a wild man, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I want to make a contribution to your Just Say It uh, campaign, as it's been called this morning. Uh, For you, first of all, I try to wake up early enough that I can catch the beginning of the show, and I Why? Usually because you don't be, know what day it is? Must be suicidal. You know what I mean? He's like, I wake up every day, and I don't know what day it is, so I got to catch the beginning of your must, show to hear that it's Monday. He's medicated. Don't. But, uh, that's because, <laughs> he's cracking up this guy on the phone. Because I like your show so much. <laughs> and another thing that I do is when I'm using a product around the home, like some new kind of a, maybe a, buy some new product at the store, this guy clearly hasn't oh gotten laid God. in a long time. I try to call the, the uh, numbers on the packaging. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Why? Now, listen. There's two facets to this segment right here. Oh, my God. One, there's this clown moron who made this call. Two, there's the show that decided to put it on the radio. Here's He's- the best part, all right? I-, I only gave you about 60 seconds worth of audio. This phone call went on for, like, five minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> so this and, the- and this is isn't a live call, right? They're just no. kind of okay because I hear them going, mm hmm, mm hmm. So they're just kind of reacting so to the guy. So let me get this straight. This guy <laughs> yes. goes grocery shopping, and the first thing he does is look on the back of a package and <laughs> call the phone number on there. He's lonely, guys. Obviously, he's so lonely. He's calling a radio station's voicemail and telling them that he calls the <laughs> numbers on the uh, back of his Wheaties box. Can, can Unbelievable. Can you imagine if, if they actually put this, if they actually talk to their this listeners? This is infuriating. <laughs> that, that call would go on for 38 minutes. Yeah, and then get $38 million. <laughs> Here's the rest of this crap. And and give compliments, primarily compliments, for what I like about the product. Oh. And the what? way that it affects oh. the people at the other end of the line is interesting because... Why are they airing this right now? 
This guy, they should call the cops on this guy. He's like this probably is, making a bomb. In this guy's basement. name is Yelp. They're so used to an- answering nothing but complaints and, and like people whining about how bad their stuff is. They really, oh, uh, oh, they're really oh, surprised. Oh, how bad their stuff is. Products have nothing to say about positive about their products. And if I have a constructive Sam, criticism, I rarely everybody. will add that. But if I don't like something, I don't call. <laughs> it went on for another four minutes. God, even Sam couldn't save that break. That's when Sam's supposed to dro- uh, drop in and go, by the way, off the wagon, I'm hammered right now, taking pictures of my junk, sending them to everybody. I, um, I'm furious right now. These people make millions of dollars. This is the Unbelievable Millionaires of Radio, a radio show in Arkansas that we uh, we play their segments on Tuesday morning because we just can't freaking believe this is real life. Hey, do you think Do you think Sam used to send junk pics to the number on the back of the bottle of the Jack Daniels bottle? <laughs> you, all right, so Ransom, I've got I got Sam. He keeps getting blown off. Is this the clip you want me to play? Uh, yeah, I believe it. Let's start it up real quick. So we'll here's see. what we're gonna do: we're gonna play a segment. And then play the same segment without everybody, but with just Sam, the know, real star of the show. You'll know quickly uh, if, if it's the, the the right segment. If you I could don't hear think I else. have the just Sam, so you might want to look for that. But here this is. That's right, Jody. <laughs> here to provide plenty of drama. Yes, yes. Oh, this is just Sam. That is just Sam right there. This is just Sam. So, so do you, you want to hear the experiment of uh, just Sam? Yeah. Well, so, why don't we why don't we play the other clip first, and then I. So the thing about it is we're going to isolate this guy that we like, Sam, the only guy of the trio that we like because he's, uh, well, he's he drinks a lot, or but he pretends he doesn't. He's a debacle, he's but a, he's hilarious. He's a disaster. But like I said, we're learning about this guy. These other two are quacks. You know, they're quacks. But we kind of, we kind of like, discover new things about this guy, which I think is pretty interesting. All right, I have the, I have the clip over here. All right, here we go. Murphy, Sam, and Joe. This is the full clip, guys. Our Sam. Since Murphy and I are married, you know... <laughs> Sometimes our drama comes from you, Sam. That's right, Jody. I'm here to provide plenty <laughs> yeah. of drama. Not that there's not any drama Look, in our house. I'm but. really proud of you. You took a bold step. You know, after your last divorce. <laughs> I didn't say it. No, I didn't want to say <laughs> third <laughs> divorce. Hold, I just hold, hold on, pause hold on. Right. His last divorce. <laughs> this happens all the time. How many does he have? I know three. He said before. He said, he after your he... last divorce, you took a break, which is really cool. You didn't. From what? You getting were married? Yes. <laughs> yes. This guy has a divorce punch card. <laughs> his best man at his next divorce. wedding is his divorce lawyer. Divorce passport. <laughs> his next divorce is free. Yeah. <laughs> Anything. So you took almost a year and then decided, okay, Get back into online dating. Let's kind of see what's out there, but keep it mm-hmm. casual, right? Yes. Had one date. Yes. Come on, that Sam. you liked. Uh-oh. Okay, fine. We can call it a date. It's more of a meeting, but yes, we can call it a date. Did you okay. A couple weeks ago. And then uh, for the last week after this date, you kept getting, so- you thought you were being blown off. Yeah. Because, I mean, uh, because. I, I, we had agreed that, hey, this went great. Let's do it again. But the. T- if he was lucky, somebody would blow his head off for having to be <laughs> on this show. I'd so blow my head off. I'm kind of busy here. Maybe later this week. I'm kind of busy. Maybe next week. I'm kind of busy. I have jury, jury duty. duty. Yeah. <laughs> and so it was at that point, it's like, okay. To- I'm hearing Sam's frustration here. Yeah. Am I getting the blow off or what am I getting here? <laughs> well, that's no, the problem. No, the that's problem the problem is, is you're, you're not, not getting, getting the blow off. off. Decided <laughs> I'm going to let it go. Uh, yep. Lo and behold, out of the blue, I get a text from her. Ooh. And it Good says, morning. I'm so sorry about last week. I was pretty busy with jury. I got to meet this woman. I, I really hope she texts them at 3 in the morning <laughs> with a junk pic. <laughs> Beauty and family in town. This is my I'm husband's still arrested junk. In the second meeting, I'm definitely free, and she gave me a couple days this week. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so Sam May, he's getting into this relationship. And he may be on the cusp here. He might be getting the of blow a, off. Of a sober blow off. <laughs> that's what he's looking for. All right. Now let's hear the Here's, same audio. You take out Murphy and Jody. Yeah, who they're are gone. horrible. So this is just, just Sam. Sam. This is Sam. If this was the way Sam better show, show I he's bet. the star, yeah. He's the star of the show. That's right, Jody. <laughs> here to provide plenty of drama. Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. We can call it a date. It's more of a meeting, but yes, we can call it a date. A couple weeks ago. Yeah. We agreed that, hey, this went great. Let's do it again. But the texts I were getting were like, yeah, I'm kind of busy here. Maybe later this week. I'm kind of busy. Maybe next week. And so it was at that point, it's like, okay, am I getting the blow off or what am I getting here? Ah, very nice, Sam. See, now that's a great show. It's a million dollar that's show. What you call the Sam show right there. there am I there- getting the blow off or what am I getting here? <laughs> Sam, take our advice. Dump those losers and get all the money for yourself. Like, there's a hundred more affiliates waiting for just the Sam show. 
how many affiliates are getting the blow off? Because they're just so famous and rich now. Right. You know? Yeah, am I getting the blow off or <laughs> what am I getting here? All right. That is the unbelievable millionaires of radio this morning. Murphy, Sam, and Jody. They make millions of dollars in that is the reason why. My God. Yeah, am I getting the blow off, or what am I getting here? What do you think about when I say arm bar, hip toss, double leg takedown, front kick, and the good old ground and pound? Sounds like the weekend I had over at my Aunt Sally's house.